Hey, welcome back this morning. We're reading through the book of Malachi. Today we're at chapter 3, and we're just going to look for a minute at verse 15. Can we do that? Let's read it. So now we call the proud blessed, for those who do wickedness are raised up. They even tempt God and go free. Now, if you followed along in the previous couple of mornings, and he says, okay, there's an issue going on, the people say, what issue? And then he, he describes the issue. What are you talking about? We haven't done anything wrong at all. But in case we go through case by case, question and answer, question and answer, and God kind of outlines it. God puts it into the clear, you know, clear understanding. And as we came up into verse 13 and 14, God said, your words have been harsh against me. And the people said, of course, you know, well, how? What do you mean? And he said, you've spoken ill against me. You've basically said that it doesn't matter to serve God. And they said, well, how did we do that? So then we come to this verse 15 today where they said, so now we call the proud blessed and those who do wickedness are raised up. They even tempt God and go free. What's being said here? The people who are proud are treated well, but that's wrong. Those who do wickedness are raised up, but that's wrong. Those who tempt God get away with it, and that's wrong. So, again, we have a world in which everybody kind of does today whatever they wish to do. It's kind of do whatever you want, and everything will be wonderful. You do what you like, I'll do what I like. And, and people are given freedom. We are given free will to make choices. But you know what? We need to spend that opportunities that God gives us. We need to spend that in a way that will help us grow spiritually. We need to spend it in a way that will cause our conscience to come in the right direction, not in the wrong direction. And here you have the priest. He's addressing pretty much the priest right here. What is oh, he the saying? Proud blessed. Well, the, the so the, the, the wicked, the proud come. And the priests are like, no problem. Just put in your offering. Have a wonderful day. And that's what we've got going on here. Those who do wickedness are raised up. Here come the wicked, and they, uh, they do some whatever deal they have with the priest there. And the priest is like, hey, you've got my blessing. Have a good one. And so this spirit goes on so that even they, they tempt God when there's an issue that needs to be addressed, a spiritual issue, maybe an issue of crime or sin, wickedness, it's an issue of sin, and the priests aren't doing anything about it. Basically, the priesthood here is, is, is essentially right at that edge. of Basically, it's non-functional priesthood. And yet, isn't it interesting? We saw a couple of verses ago, God still said, Return my tithe. Give offering so that there could be food in my household, in my priesthood, among my people. Return it anyway. But they're corrupt down to the bones here. And so that's what's that going on in verse 15. The priests are not sustaining a difference between good and evil. God's people are not sustaining that difference. What about us today? Are we sustaining that difference in our world? I mean, if there's ever a time on planet Earth when we uh, should have a, a good clear picture about, you know, the difference between very good and very evil today, right? I mean, when has it been more, more contrast been out there? And yet many churches today, many, many believers, people who claim to be believers are like, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Everything's okay. Have a nice day. Everything's okay. And God is telling us by verse 15, it's not okay that the proud are blessed. It's not okay that the wicked are raised up. And it's not okay that those who tempt God go free. He's going to allow it for a period, you know, there's a, some period of time, but then comes judgment. It's appointed unto men once to die and then the judgment. We have been too free to go along with all the nonsense that's pushed our way by a secular culture, a godless, godless hedonistic culture all around us. And we, we just, we don't want to cause any waves now, you know, just, uh, I'm just going to just, there's a problem here. I'm just going to go around it. I'll just be quiet. That's not the way. God is telling us here that's not the way. Let's be faithful. In fact, why don't we pray to him? Dear God in heaven, Lord, help us to be right. Help us to help others who just think anything goes. Help us to live lives that show that there is a particular way that's good, there is a particular way that's bad, and we should try out the good way. Oh, Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. God is showing us in his word there is a difference between right and wrong, truth and error. And in the most winning way, let's try to help people see there's a difference and try out the good stuff. Hey, God be with you today.